Hello my friends and welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. To, for, to kick things off, my headset is broken now, so I'm just going to chuck that over there. Okay, good. Now we're back to just having TV audio. <laughs> so if you can hear double audio, I apologize. But anyway, other than that, I wanted to make a little bit of an, 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 an announcement um, regarding the whole Pokemon being named thing. So rather than you guys suggesting nicknames, I would like you guys to, if you want to, leave a comment uh, in whatever video that the Pokemon themselves appear in and or you know n now you know for all the ones we do have and just say to yourself like just write in your comments somewhere i want to be for example Kolava. please name it and you could say you could say your name is mark so you could name it after you could call it mark or you could call it your youtube name which could be something like um explosions galore or something like that you know i, I know there's not enough fucking character limit for that so yes basically um, i will name my pokemon after you guys the viewers instead of suggestions that you give me so if you want to be one of the characters in my game on my team here, then please let me know who you want to be and what name you want me to use for them, whether it's your YouTube name or whether it's a regular name that you have or a nickname that you have, Some, just a name. Um, so let's go, I suppose. And it can't be obscene because then I can't trade it up into a different game because that would be unfortunate. At least I don't think I can. Anyway, where are we heading next? I think it's Pyrite Town. I think so. So let's hit the pyrite. I, I I think we're going here. I'm not entirely sure. It's been a long time since I played this. So last time, uh, I sure if we go to the fortune teller, she'll she'll tell us where to go. I do believe though we just need to enter the tournament. Let me just get around here. Hello. Find what you seek. Be it an object, person, or luck. Welcome to Fatine's fortune telling chamber. If you have a problem, you have a problem. What you tell you? I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a problem. Why are you not answering my problem? A while ago, she even determined my wife is living since she left. Whoa! What the fuck? Why is that in a game? The guy's like, my wife left me. I know this is a three and up game, but my wife left me, and apparently she's living somewhere and alive without me living. So that's cool, I guess. Oh, thanks, watch, for telling me what time it is. Alright, here we go. Let's go to the Colosseum here and see if this is where we're supposed to go. I should probably <laughs> plan these things in advance so I know what I'm doing. Hello. I didn't get here in time to make the registration. I've heard rumors that if you win the challenge, you get an awesome Pokemon like Kale did. Sheesh, what am I saying? You have to keep that secret. Pretend you didn't hear it from me, okay? Adam, wasn't Kale that guy who was hanging around the town's entrance? We should go ask him. He might know something. I completely forgot what voices I do for these characters, so we're just going to stop for now until a later, a, little, a later bit down the line until I remember. Yes. Current challenge is already underway. Please wait for the next challenge to register. So what am I supposed to do then? I, I haven't played this game any. You're supposed to tell me what I'm supposed to do. Bastard. Alright, I guess we'll just leave. I guess it's about all I can do. Um, I guess I'll just skip ahead until I figure out what we're doing. Oh, here we go. We got a shadow Pokemon. It's Slugma. Alright. So I'll be capturing this guy. So from this episode onwards, please suggest if you... I mean, please say if you want to be named after Slugma here. Okay, and there's a skip loom for this episode as well, so if you want to be a skip loom, there you go. Okay, here we are about 20 minutes later. I literally had to walk, look up a walkthrough to see what to do at the start of the game, just because it's been so long since I played this game I didn't know what I was doing. From what I can gather, you're supposed to battle everyone in that little circle, then you come and talk, well you talk to Duking, which we've already done, and now we talk to this guy. What's that? You're wanting to know if I have a weird Pokemon? If you want to know that much, you may as well see it with your own eyes. So we're finally on track to actually doing an episode. Here we go. We're against Rogue Keel. He has himself a Furt and a Routes. Hmm, I wonder which one is the weird one. It's definitely not going to be the one that's over-leveled compared to all the other Pokémon. Hmm, also Kulav is very close to being... Uh, having the door to its art completely open, so that's pretty nifty. Means we can start using someone else and getting their door open as well. <laughs> I keep on forgetting that I've named her Pweeb. My god, I'm funny. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna use Confusion on Furt because that'll do a lot of damage. I almost killed Slugma with Confusion. Well, the Confusion from the Confusion. And I'm always worried that I'm gonna get a critical hit with it as well because it just seems like in this game, Confusion has a very good critical hit ratio. Don't know if it's just this game or if it's just me, but you know, just what happens. Right, I think I'm gonna toss a ball next round and have a little go. Or maybe I'll use Shadow Rush. Ooh, that was close. Uh, I think I'll just use Shadow Rush on Ralts again. And take it down. She's using Confusion on Vespion. Alright, I mean, whatever you want to do. 
It's fine by me. Alright, let's talk, t talk, toss a ball. At Furt, there we go. So, if you want to be named after a Furt, you may. You may just leave a comment saying, hello, my name is blank, name it blank after me. It's a, it's a Furt I want. And if people don't end up leaving comments at all wanting to be named after them, that's fine as well. I will just take them into my future games as their original names. Doesn't bother me either way. But I thought it'd be a cool way to be able to involve you guys into the series a little bit by having your names in here. Hello, Simple. Alright, let's switch out to... Noctile. Ugh. Dog opening the door on me. Right. She's using Infusion again, and once again on Espeon. Fantastic work, that. Right, Noctile. Let's use Shadow Rush. And... Hmm. Let's use Return on Furt. That might be bad, because I imagine Espeon's quite friendly towards us. So hopefully it won't die. <laughs> we can only hope. Okay, that was good. That's enough. That's fine. We should be able to catch it. Of course Noctile doesn't want to kill it. Don't... Don't kill my Espeon, I need it. Alright, I'm gonna have to call my Noctile. And I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use Confusion on Ralts and to just take it down. Oh, that was a huge chunk it took out of him. Her. Noctile's a she. Whoops. <laughs> but anyway, so... Down Ralts goes. Lovely stuff. You think Ralts looks like one of the Beatles? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Random thought. Alright, sending out a C dot next. Doesn't seem like too much of a bother. If only my, um... If only my Noctile knew some flying type moves. And espion has gone, so that's fantastic. I think I'll send out... Oh, actually, no. I was going to send out Umbreon. Actually, I probably should, for the sake of catching and killing. Yeah, I'll send out Umbreon. As much as I want to open the doors to other the other hearts of the other Pokemon, I should probably have one out here that can actually battle. So let's use... Sh Ooh, I can use Hypnosis. Yeah, let's do that. And let's try a ball as well. Hello, phone. You stop that right now. And we'll use it on first. Yes, of course. Who else would you use it on? Here we go. Catch, 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 catch. Come on. I believe in you. One. Duh, fuck. I know I have great balls. I think I've said it before. I like to use Pokeballs over anything else. Also, I want to I wanna point out, if, if my commentary today seems a little bit steel, there are people in the house I haven't done Pokemon in a long time, and I'm not comfortable doing this without a headset on, and my headset's broken. So I'm trying to keep my volume level nice, and instead I feel like I'm sounding very boring. But um, I'm trying my best. I will uh, I will hop back onto the, uh, tr the the train of getting Pokemon regularly regularly recorded again at some stage. Hopefully with the as much enthusiasm as the first three. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and hopefully things will start going back to normal soon. It's just lately I have not had the time to record anything. As a matter of fact, I'm recording this before getting ready to go to work because I just do not have time and I need a video for today and I knew that I could record Pokemon and that I had to record Pokemon because I haven't done it in ages. And I'm not saying that I'm doing this purely just for the sake of getting a video out. You know, I still want to do the Pokemon series and I just wanted a time where it's like, you know what, I'm ready to do it. And I'm ready to do it today, it's just that because it's my first time back in a long time, I'm not exactly as into it as I want to be. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a progress, a progressional, progressional, English. It's a progressive thing. You'll get into it more the more you do it. And I've been out of it for a while, so once I get back into it, things will be grand. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Let's catch this fur, please. It's, it's sleeping. It's in red health. Now would be the time. Thank you very much. And hopefully as well, if I start getting back into the swing of recording this regularly, fuck you, then I won't need to look up walkthroughs to be able to get through the start of the game. Like, I don't know why I didn't know what I was doing. In fact, to be fair, it's not very clear. Like, you just have to go and battle a bunch of people, and then just so happen to talk to this guy. There's no real direction to it, as far as I know. Or at least, maybe, I don't think there was. I wasn't really paying attention. Alright, here we go. So let's chop- I, I even looked back at episode 3 to see what I was doing, and see if I could see from there where I'm supposed to go, and I couldn't. Which is why I had to look up the walkthrough. So you know that there might be something wrong, so there might be some flaws with this game. From its age. Come on, Furt! Don't make me waste all my balls. 
It's gonna wake up, isn't it? No, okay. Use Bite, take down that C-Dot. I really don't want to use Umbreon to attack at all. I really don't want to use any of them to attack. Because they might take it down. Oh, he's got another Pokemon. Add it to my chop, something that I could have definitely used Espeon for. Fantastic. Alright, let's just use another ball. On for it. And you. Um. Secret par. I really don't have anything else to use. Alright, come on. This is the one. Come on. Do it. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Yes, there we go. I was worried we weren't going to catch for it for a minute there. Alright, now we can take out this little shit here. Hello, Machop. Well, that actually didn't do too bad in terms of damage. Another three of them will kill it. Focus energy so he can up his critical hit ratio. Which can piss right off, in my opinion. Uh, let's use Shadow Rush, let's use Secret Par, and let's take him down. Okay, all my Pokemon keep on going into hyper mode today, which is just fantastic. There we go, another... Eh, we could probably get away with one of those. Might take it down. Attack. Oh, I wanted to use... I wanted to call it, because then I could have got it down, like, the whole bar. Oh, well. All right, let's send out Flaffy. I like Flaffy. I like the... The Mareep line. The very first shiny Pokemon I ever found was a shiny Mareep on Pokemon Silver. And that was in a 2-in-1, like, it was a, obviously a fake cartridge. But it was a 2-in-1 gold and silver game. My brother played gold, I played silver. And I remember seeing, like, the sparkles that Gyarados had around it. And then it was a pink Mareep, and I was like, oh, look at that. But I didn't think anything of it, and I just ran away from it. And then, obviously, as I grew up, I was like, no. Oh, what a terrible mistake I have made. <laughs> so, you know. Shit happens. Hello, silly. Oh, Deary me, apologies. Apologies indeed. So that's it, we stole his Shadow Pokemon, he is done for. Maybe now we can actually get on with shit. <laughs> but that was it, that lying mirror bee. He came up with that fancy tough sounding name, Shadow Pokemon, but it was no big deal. You guys be careful too, don't be played for a sucker. That's about all they'll give you if you win at the Coliseum. Shadow Pokemon. That's what it's called, a Shadow Pokemon. That Pokemon with a black aura. I told you this already. Yes, that's a building. How do we see this? <clears throat> I trust things are going according to plan, Mirby. Oh, yes indeed, Master Nascor. Our plan is coming along in a lovely, peachy keen way. We have already been broken, Duking Spirit. We can do as we please at the Colosseum without his meddling. We've been giving away Shadow Pokemon on the slide to challenge winners for gathering data. Good. The others also appear to be doing their parts to implement our plan. Our Shadow Pokemon plan is falling into place quickly. The final phase is not far off. Ooh, this perking up my spirit and body. Oh, I feel like dancing. See if you're dancing until our plan succeeds. I'm off. Boys, I'm gonna dance anyway. I shall make my return to the cave where my darling Pokemon await my return. Let the music play. <laughs> Damn. I'm not at all in a state to do this today. It looks like the Colosseum has a secret. I guess there's no choice but to take part in a battle challenge there. How do you know? You're How did you see any of that? You're down here. Oh dear. But yes, not being able to control my, my volume and thinking that I'm speaking too loud is why I'm talking very quietly. I should probably heal, shouldn't I? Yes, most- wait, I can heal in the Colosseum, what am I doing? Well, you know what, unfortunately I'm gonna have to call this episode short because I need to get this- What the fuck? I'm sad! Oh, and he's dead. Someone, there's trouble, help me. Alright, see ya. <laughs> Someone help- okay. The chief's inside, Silva came in- uh, So, anime dead. <gasps> Anime dead, no! Oh, so the silver's gone too far this time. He ripped out and ripped off one of the gears. The Coliseum's gonna be without power. <laughs> Chief, are you alright? Yeah, the only thing bruised is my pride. It was only Silver, so I wasn't expecting any trouble. Huh? But isn't Silver Duking's trusted lieutenant? What's his motive for doing this? That's what I want to know. He was running about how the Coliseum can just be shut down or something. 
Sorry to worry you, younglings. Thanks, I'll be fine now. But I need to ask for a favor. Will you hear me out? Alright. If the Colosseum loses power, the whole town suffers. I need you to find that gear Silva ran off with. I'm counting on you younglings. I'm a duck now. I think. Well, anyway, like I was saying, um, I unfortunately need to cut this episode short because I would not have time to enter the Colosseum, and quite frankly, I need to get ready for work, so... I'm sorry for this rather boring and short episode of uh, Pokemon Coliseum. I almost said Super Mario 3D World, <laughs> but that's alright. Um, don't forget you can leave comments about the Pokemon you want to be named after and what your name wants to be, what, what your in-game name should be. And yeah, that's about everything. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to end it here. Thank you so much for watching, my friends, and I will see you in the next episode of Pokemon Coliseum. Goodbye.